Hi, I'm John Smith with Grip City Power Tools. Join me as we continue using Active Reports. Now that we have a basic application created, we'll extend it by adding a designer that will allow our end users to customize the reports. We'll start by opening the quick start sample from the previous video in this series. From the project menu, select Add New Item, then select Windows Form. We can name this form Designer Form. Adjust the size of the form and begin adding containers for the various components used with the Active Reports end user designer control. We'll need a tool strip container for our menus and toolbars, a panel on the left for the designer's toolbox, a split container on the right for the report explorer and property grid. And the designer will fill the center of the tool strip container. Once each of these components are placed and docked in their respective containers, we'll need to open the code behind and associate the components with the designer. We can overload the constructor of the designer form to allow us to easily pass an active report object between the viewer form and the designer. Now that the designer is finished, we need to modify our viewer form to enable our users to open reports or launch the designer. Add a menu strip to the top of the viewer form and add menu items to open reports and launch the designer. Double click the launch menu item to define its click event handler. Two lines of code is all we need to open the designer and edit the existing report. Now double click on the open menu item and add the code needed to load the report XML file into the viewer. Now that everything is ready, we can select start debugging from the debug menu to see this in action. If we look at this report closely, we can see that it may need some adjustments. For example, the grouping of customers in Mexico begins at the bottom of page 2, then at the top of page 3 the heading is missing. Let's launch the designer and fix this. The designer opens and loads the report we were viewing as we expected, and now we can select the group header section and set its repeat style property to on page. We can make any other changes to formatting as well and then save this report to an RPX XML layout file. Then, from the menu items added to the viewer form earlier, we can open the RPX file and view the changes. Extending existing Windows Forms applications to add a designer is simple, but there's so much more available to you with this incredible tool. Don't miss our other videos to help you learn even more about the power of Active Reports from Grape City Power Tools. For free trial version downloads of Active Reports products, or to learn about other helpful power tools from Grape City, go to gcpowertools.com. Follow Grape City on Twitter and Facebook, and be sure to check out more Grape City videos to see what you're missing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and be the first to watch our new videos. I'm John Smith. Thanks for watching and choosing Grape City, the world's best-selling developer components.